welcome back to my channel guys thank you so much for subscribing if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for stay tuned okay guys so today i'll be making curry goat so first thing first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i already cut the excess fat that i don't want on my meat so i'm gonna wash my meat off so let's put that bowl aside so i'm using some vinegar white vinegar to wash the meat off i'm just using room temperature water I'm gonna here what I normally do, I normally wash the meat until the water becomes clear. Get some more water in that. And just hold it back. I'm give it another wash. And that should be fine. So now I'm going to season it, okay? So first, just gonna put this aside a little. So first I have some garlic here. Some garlic cloves, I'm just gonna put it here to crush it out. As much as possible, I can't hold it in there. Down. Just gonna squeeze on that. If you don't have this guys, you can use a knife and crush it as well here I am that's fine all right I'm just gonna remove that like so get a knife and just remove that all right I have that too. Put it aside. Then I have my thyme going like that. Just remove them like that. We want this stem. And I have some pimento. Just gonna pour that like that. I'm gonna go in with my scallion. I'm just gonna cut this up like that. And guys, if you want, you can also blend your seasoning if you want. And I have scotch bonnet pepper. You can do curry without some scotch bonnet pepper. Want a little spice in other thing. 
Guys, after using this pepper, you have to wash your hands properly. So you always wash your hands before and after preparing meal. Alright, so this is ginger. Just gonna give it some slice like that. That's fine. I'm just gonna use my knife like that to just crush it out. I could also put it in the garlic crusher, but that's fine. I'm gonna do it like this too. And then just add that like that. Whenever I'm cooking curry, guys, I always put some ginger powder or fresh ginger. my sweet pepper I'm just gonna add that but the ginger does it give it a little flavor and you know you have curry you don't have to use your ginger but I always use ginger with my curry always good to put a little ginger in there that's fine I have half of an onion here I'm just gonna cut that too all of this and add it to the bowl So basically with curry goat, you can have rice and peas with it, you can have white rice, you can have gungwa rice, whatever you want to have with it, it's fine. Each to their own, whatever you want to have, you can have with your curry goat. But I love rice, um, sorry, I love white rice and curry goat. Put it aside. So I'm going to add some garlic here, the powder, like one teaspoon you can add. We're going to use just a little seasoned salt, not a lot. There, like half teaspoon you can add into it. And I'm going to add some black pepper for a little flavor as well just a little bit we have scotch bonnet in there so we're just going to do like a half teaspoon of black pepper in like that and then we're going to add our all purpose seasoning just went for a spoon people sorry about that I'm going to add that's like one and a little teaspoon, so say two teaspoons. And then I have my better pot curry. I'm gonna add some of this. Not a lot now. I'm gonna have about say two teaspoons because when I'm preparing this, I also burn a little curry as well. Add that to that and I leave this overnight people to marinate but if you 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 know you're gonna you buy it and you want to make it same time go ahead no problem you can do that all right nothing ain't wrong with that but I like to marinate my meat overnight before I use it and I'm gonna use my hands just rub that in rub it in like so on that people beautiful 
Lovely. Let me just rub up that. Very nice. Yep. So that's good. You can use whatever curry you like to use, guys. But I just really love to use my better for curry. It have a buzz. So that's lovely there, people. Lovely. put that in the bin okay people so now I'm gonna put some plastic wrap over this and then I'm gonna put it in the bottom part of the fridge and then I'll use that tomorrow so let me just cut and guys, you can go ahead and seize your meat if you're not going to use it the next day. It can stay there until you're ready to use your meat. So you know, say, oh, well, so keen on marinade. Look at that, people. There you go. See it there? Lovely. Yep. Next day. Okay guys, so now I'm going to prepare my curry goat. So I'm just going to add some oil into the pot. Just using some olive oil. You can use whatever oil you want. And I have garlic. Two pegs of garlic. I'm going to add. I'm just going to squeeze it. Like that. You can use a knife to do this, guys. Crush it out. You can use a knife. Or you can use, you can cut it up with the knife if you want, whichever way you want to do it. So I use a knife to just remove that. And that, and then we just add it into the pot. And we just scrape that off. like that then I have my scotch bonnet, scotch bonnet pepper here just there cut just a few not a lot because remember we have pepper already that was seasoned with the meat if you want it to be spicy guys add as much as you want just same with that So we get an extra flavor, guys. From the garlic and the pepper. See how lovely that is? I'm going to add a little curry to that. Not a lot. So we're going to make that burn. If you don't like to burn your curry, that's fine. You can add all your curry and your meat when you're seasoning it up. You don't have to do it this way. But I like this way. Let us burn that. Before you add your meat in it. Like that. I 
Okay, guys. So remember my meat that was marinated from overnight. All right. So what I gonna do? I just gonna remove my sweet pepper from that. And I had that at a later time. So just gonna add them little by little like that. You don't have to, you can pour everything in there if you want, but I like to put my sweet pepper at a later time. Just add them like that. Right. So just add up everything. And guys, when I'm making curry, just have a little spice to it, you know. If you don't like your food spicy, that's fine. You don't have to put so much spice or you don't have to put any spice at all. But with curry when I'm making it, I have to have a little spice to it. Yep. Yes. So now I think I remove all the sweet pepper. I just then pour everything into that. Let's grab this one in. And I just don't give that a stir. And then we cover that. And allow it to make its own water. So you stir up everything. And we left that. Look how lovely that is, people. Beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. All right, so now we'll get that a cover. And we'll come back and check on that. All right, and I leave my stove on medium. Okay, people, I'm going to check on the goat. So I'll uh, go on. So see, it builds its own water. So that's lovely. All right. Let's then give that a stir. And when the water dry out, people, when it looks like it's drying out, that's when you're going to add your cup of water in it. And you keep adding water until it's cooked. So that's nice. So you cover that again. And you go and build up with water. And you leave it. Okay, guys, so let me check. Let's see what's going on. Lovely. And give that a stir. I'm gonna have one cup of water for this. All right. Wow. Lovely. Let's add my cup of water. Like that. And cover that. And keep you check it, keep check it to see if the water dry out and then I add a cup of water until it cook. And then I add the rest of seasoning. But you know what your girl Shana gonna show you everything. So let's see what's going on. Very nice. I did go ahead and add a cup of water to this. 
off camera. I'm just gonna add another cup. And then let me see what's going on. Almost cooked. Then I'm gonna add Alright, so for seasoning that I that I'm going to use. that just leave that and then we add our seasoning after that okay so let me just check on this wow See what's going on? Oh, lovely. Almost done, peeps. So now I'm gonna add a little more fresh thyme to that. And my Irish potatoes with the sweet pepper. Add a little more water to this like that and let this cook down I'm gonna have just a little bit of all purpose season into that just a little more seasoning to that Like this much and then we we'll cover this <coughs> beautiful I like a lot of put Irish potato in mine yep any curry that I'm doing I love me some potatoes all right people I make that brown with itself Cover that. Now I'll be back to show you the finishing touch. A few moments later. Okay, guys, so that's the end of my curry goat. I hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and let me know in the comment section what you like to see. I prepare next don't forget to hit that good old notification bell so you'll be one of the first person to be notified when I upload another video bye for now